Hello everybody, my name is Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager and the Snowflake. And today we're going to be talking about a very special Xbox showcase coming up on May 7th. And I'm just going to let you guys know, and this is something I just figured out, and I had the motivation to post this, just in case you're like me and you, and you messed up on uh, understanding these fine, minute details. Little asterisk. Um, this... This little Xbox Inside thing that's happening, this big presentation, is not on first-party games. Okay, I, I just want, I just want everyone to know that. Like, I can end the video right now, and everybody would just leave with disappointment, and then be like, go on and be like, oh, are you freaking kidding me? No, this is third-party games. Okay, third-party games. So don't expect any new revived uh, original Xbox IPs or any Halo gameplay that we're waiting on still. Halo Infinite gameplay. Uh, no Fables, no Death Rows, no Fusion Frenzies, no freaking Crimson Sky sequels. Like, no nothing like that. Nothing to get our hopes up like that, you know? Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty upset about it that I couldn't read the fine print properly and I lost like two IQ points. <laughs> but I'm letting you guys know that this third party is what's happening, okay? Uh, but we can still have fun with this video. Uh, I just want to get that out of the way. There's no first party games being shown. Now, never say die, right? Never say never. What's dead may never die. I don't know what I'm saying. We could get some surprises. I don't know. It's like anything's possible with these conferences. It'd be really cool to see. Xbox just add like one or two first party games like we'll, like we get a sneak peek of like Halo Infinite gameplay like not even showing like the actual gameplay like I know we should have that by now but just like something to prepare us for like the next event or something it's like next event first party games and that might happen in the month of June or something you know what I'm saying like it kind of like transitions so it might help us isolate uh, you know have having the third party games exclusive on this showcase and then the first party is its own thing so i can live with that but holy crap like if you look at the time it's already may 1st by the time i release this video and we still haven't seen any next gen gameplay from the next xbox and that's troubling it almost makes me think that it is going to be delayed but i don't know i don't know microsoft might be just going out with a bang or something so now we can get to the video. Man, that took three minutes just to discuss. The third party games, I, I can still say there's some excitement to be had because there are a lot of great third party companies out there that are working hard and diligently for, you know, Xbox Series X or the PS5 or PC. I mean, shit, even the Switch, you know? Like, we can't leave the Switch out anymore. It's not the Wii U where, th where third party <laughs> was not even really a thing on that console. At least that's what a lot of people complained about. Um, so we got a brand new reveal of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and that's already been confirmed to be at this showcase. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited to see Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I haven't even watched the cinematic trailer yet, but we had a, a pretty good idea that it was gonna be set in the Viking era. Uh, which is really, really awesome in 9th century England, so I'm like super stoked. You might as well just watch the Viking show and binge it. Uh, so that's that's going to be pretty fun. Like, that's going to be a pretty cool gameplay showcase. Now, a lot of you are probably already, like, re-franchise fatigue, like, round two. Like, I get it, because Assassin's Creed Origins and, and Odyssey were, were badass games. Well, admittedly, I've never played Origins, but I hear a lot of good things about it, and then I've played a lot of Odyssey and I love Greek mythology and I love that game it's just fantastic although <laughs> admittedly again it is a little too big for my taste it's it's pretty hard to do a, a, a single playthrough through because there's just so much to explore you know but that's that's to each his own you know so Assassin's Creed is 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 probably one of the biggest ones there like Ubisoft likes to show off its games and who knows if Ubisoft will even have a conference during the month of, you know, digital E3. Um, as you can see in the article, if you read it, it also talks about how there's there's DICE. Most likely it might be... We could see that DICE could be releasing some Battlefield 6. 
uh, gameplay or a trailer. There's Gods and Monsters, uh, Outriders, Rainbow Six Quarantine, and a new Lord of the Rings game. Uh, Gollum. Uh, there's Godfall. Uh, we might, you never know, we might see something Star Wars related at this um, from DICE because they are working on the next Battlefield game. Uh, Battlefront, I'm sorry, Battlefront. And I, th I believe they've confirmed that it, it, they are working on another one. It's supposed to come out like 2021 or something like that. Um, so, any, I, like, I'm hoping for, like, this is just me thinking on top of my head right now. So this, I'm, I'm never scripted. <laughs> um, like another Splinter Cell game. You know, Ubisoft hasn't given us a Splinter Cell game for God knows how long. The last Splinter Cell anything was, what, with Wildlands? With, like, Sam Fisher being a playable character or something like that? I don't know how they incorporated that. Was there something in the Division 2? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, God, that... Man, poor Division, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ugh. Ubisoft, I know, you tried. You tried to be the next Destiny. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that enjoyed, uh, what is it called? Rain <laughs> Division 2, God. Scripts, scripts, Nico, you need it, apparently. Um, but, like, what are, what are other, some third-party games that you guys are looking forward to, you know? There's, there's quite a bit. Doesn't necessarily all have to be shooter games, right? You know, but like shooter games is a big deal from third-party games. Like I said, like EA loves to do shooter games. Hey, you never know. We might even see a Titanfall 3. I know Apex Legends is like their like bread and butter right now, but you never know. Like possibilities here. Although we've been pretty disappointed in the last couple of E3s with these third-party developers, but I mean, we'll never know. We'll never know. I don't know. Maybe like Ubisoft does cross, uh, cross play Nintendo Xbox partnership. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but I mean, they'll be showing. Um, what is it? Not Walking Dogs. Walking Dogs? Is it Walking Dogs Three? Is that the name of it? God, I sound so stupid, right? I am really sorry, guys. I just, I, I know one. Like, I, I think it is Walking Dogs that was like uh, delayed, right? It was delayed, and that game looked pretty cool. Um, CD Projekt Red might see some cyberpunk stuff. That's also a uh, possibility of some further gameplay. I don't know if it needs any more, but you know, something. Uh, maybe stuff from Bethesda. I highly doubt it. But it would be cool to get some clarity on Elder Scrolls 6 on where that's at. So, like I said, there, there's a lot to think of. I mean, but I, I doubt with the Bethesda thing because they canceled QuakeCon and their conference, their digital E3 conference. So, don't, I wouldn't get your hopes up from Bethesda. Um, so, I want it personally, like I, like, as I mentioned in the, in the beginning, that I was thinking this was first party. I would have a much better time talking about first party titles in this like this video can go on forever if it was first parties uh games because there's so many franchises that they ha that microsoft has squandered from first generation xbox and second generation xbox it's nice to know that the next there's another perfect dark game coming out like i'm really happy about that because that is a, a franchise that's been dead in the water basically anything rare related in, in our beloved Rare franchises from days of gaming's past have been dead. Okay, like Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Perfect Dark, GoldenEye? No, just kidding. <laughs> you know, it's it's ridiculous. You know, maybe some a really badass new uh, Rare IP, but I, another Perfect Dark... Like, we don't need other... We don't need new IPs from Rare. We just need continuation of beloved franchises and make them bring it back, you know? It's pretty crazy that Nintendo has to revive dead franchises with Smash Brothers, like Banjo-Kazooie, for example. And that's a Microsoft property. You know, it's ridiculous. Um, like, give us, like like I said, there's Fable, there's Tau Fame, remember that fighting game? There's Brutal, Brutal, uh, Brutal Force? Brute Force, that's what it is. There's <laughs> there's Death Row. I'm like listing some Xbox One games. I like Fusion Frenzy, uh, you know, there's just so there's there's so many possible blinks the time sweeper like how cool would it be to see that revive there's also like a bunch of old uh ips on the 360 um you know like 
Lost Odyssey, like a sequel, they actually revived that IP, like the trademark for it. So I don't, maybe they do have something being worked on. Um, Lost Odyssey, there's, I mean, Enchanted Arms, that wasn't an exclusive, but, well, for a time it was actually. Uh, there's, you know, the Tales series, there's apparently there's another Tales game coming out for X Xbox Series X. Anyway, th it, like I said, it can go on forever, so I kind of just want to hear what you guys had to say uh, about this and what games are you guys looking forward to, you know. And, you know, it doesn't just have to be here in the YouTube channel. Uh, you guys are always welcome to check out my Twitch channel and discuss more gaming uh, ideas or topics. You know, I'm always available on Twitter as well. And then if you want to be a part of the Discord server, you're always welcome to join that too. Just send me a direct message if, you're, uh, if you want to talk more about gaming topics. So anyway, folks, I hope Microsoft does a good job with this. Like, I, you know what? Just showcase these badass, even if the third party, these badass third party games, give us like the next Deus Ex, which isn't gonna happen, I'm just saying. You know, show us these IPs that these third party developers have been working on, like effort, effortlessly, effortlessly. I can't even say that word. Maybe, you know, some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 gameplay, that'd be really sick. I'm really excited for that game, oh my God. Like that game having a sequel to Bloodlines 1 is uh, like I hate to swear, I already swore, but is an absolute fucking miracle, by the way, in gaming. Okay, if you know the history of Bloodlines, then you know why I'm so ecstatic about it. And I'm not even like a Bloodlines fan, but I know the I know the story. I know the story. Uh, thank you, Indigo Gaming, for letting me be truly informed about the disastrous development of that game. Oh. but thanks to you modders for making it something. Anyway, folks, hope you had a good time. I've been your host, Nick the Legend. Take care, Pathfinders.